right, Cubs. We're back with another edition of Sports With. Unfortunately, this time we are without our very own Stephen Hahn. Thank God. Uh, I guess Vogue was a little happy about that. But anyways, First. today, Grant, it's the Lions. What in the heck was that? 38-17 oh. to 17 final. The Jets come in Detroit, opening season, Monday night, opening game, and just blow the Lions out of the water. Matt Stafford looked terrible. He did not look like the franchise quarterback that we know him as. Well, give us your first thoughts. Uh, Matt Stafford. Um, I do still think he is the chosen one. That has never changed, and that won't change. Uh, but poor performance, especially coming week one. Uh, I've been waiting for this game eight months now. Uh, we're seeing Coach Matt Patricia take these guys against, honestly, poor, uh, I would say average at best defensive team and below average offensive team. They got a great quarterback in Sam Darnold. I think he's going to be great. Uh, he's going to have a great future. But as a whole, this team is not very good. And for them to put 48 points up on this Lions defense, Disgusting. who is regarded with great pass rushers such as Ziggy Lanza, who did get hurt. So injuries didn't factor this game that much. Yeah. I think it was possibly Matt Patricia wasn't ready. So. Yeah, I think, I think some credit has to go to the coaching staff or, well, not some credit, some blame. But, I mean, you know, Sam Darnold, rookie QB, Coming into Detroit. He can sling it. <laughs> but, you know, a foreign city to him. First play, pick six. Season's looking good. We're off to a good start. And, you know, next thing you know, it's 17-10 it's at half. And then before you know it, it's, it's you know, 48-17. And the Lions are, are out of it right away. I mean, we literally had fans fighting each other in the stadium. Yeah, I did see that's that video this, on Barstool. That's what this freaking organization does to us. They, they make us hate each other because they're so bad. Conspiracy theory. All right. The Fords will send, sell the Lions. I hope so. I, because, look, we're on year 20 now, and we're just... And nothing's it's, changed. It's Nothing changes. It's a year out of what happened on Monday night. Yeah. Sometimes high expectations, expectations never met. 48-17. I think, I think locally we know that we're going to go back to the SOL, same old Lions every year. SOL. But I, I think, you know... Nationally, you're right. We do kind of have that expectation of like, all right, are they going to move up this year? Are they going to, you know, take that next step and, you know, reach that next tier? But same old Lions every, every time. And it falling doesn't. back to where they usually It doesn't go. help battling in the NFC North. Uh, of course, Minnesota Vikings, we saw them play on Sunday. They looked great. great. Aaron Rodgers? Aaron Rodgers. Oh, my God. Awful first half by Green Bay. Come back from a 21 point de or 20 point deficit. And not to mention. Take a dub. It's going to be a tough season for the Lions. I'd be surprised if they go better 7-9. to nine. And the, the Bears looked pretty darn good in that Packers game, too, in that first half. I mean, it's... That was a sloppy game. That was a yeah, sloppy but game. they... You, I don't know. The Bears might be back. Mr. Trubisky's no, I mean, second defense, season. Their defense is... You, you can't look past Khalil Mack. Exactly. Yeah, most definitely. Especially with the lack of running game that the Lions have. And, I mean, I, I the one positive thing I will say about the Lions, I do think they have one of the top receiving cores, especially how for how young they are in the league. They got Galladay, Jones, Jones Jr., Golden Tate, the veteran, you know, leading them. Uh, I think, you know, them and Stafford can, you know, combine and make a good season. But I don't know if I agree with that to that point because so I'm thinking – so I do like Galladay's size. I like Marvin Jones' size. Of course, Golden Tate, explosive. But none of those guys step up early in the fourth quarter when you need to take a hot lead. Those yeah. guys also not really present in the third and fourth quarter. You know what yeah, I, mean? I do think I just think they have a lot of potential. Hopefully, they they turn around. I think a lot of work has to be done on the Matt Patricia side on the sideline. I totally agree. The beard looks great. Well, we're gonna see how the Lions do next week. They're gonna play on Sunday, but that's all we have tonight uh, for Stephen Hahn. I'm Brendan Shabath, and I'm not Stephen Hahn. It's not Stephen Hahn. That's Grant Fogel. This is your home for Cub Sports.